and forgiveness and being a grown-up. I kind of want to meet up with Azealia Banks and speak to her. That's how, I don't know, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. I just would really like for us to be able to at least come to an understanding. And I don't think that I'm going to agree with her on every topic or that she'll agree with me, but I do think that we should privately have a conversation. It's just kind of been like a lot of years worth of negativity with this person and I just want to finish that chapter of my life. And if nothing else, I think that it would be good for history and female rap for us to just be able to squash it. Cause bitch, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to keep fighting with this motherfucker. I can't do it. I can't. Check it out, check it out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, it must suck to be on the shelf because Iggy Azalea got nothing to do these days. Most times, she's just responding to fans on Snapchat. Now, I came across her where people say, hey, listen, you had a beef with Azalea Banks. And you ever think about squashing it? And she said, yo, you know what, man, I'll go fuck. I would be open to squashing a beef with Azalea Banks. If you don't know, Azalea Banks was one of the big critics of Iggy Azalea. Basically, a lot of people accuse Iggy Azalea of cultural appropriation, saying, hey, listen, you're using this hip-hop shit, you don't know the culture, you don't know the history, you don't respect the culture or the history. And because of the backlash, she was basically tossed out of hip-hop like Jazzy Jeff from Fresh Prince. Okay, she had the public feud with Azalea Banks, who said that, hey, she would never have these opportunities if she was black. And basically, she's just really winning because she's white. Okay, now, Iggy Azalea is open to squashing this beef, and she's willing to at least get to a point where she could get past it. And it kind of makes sense for her because, think about it, she ain't got nothing going on. Okay, when you're hot, you don't be squashing beefs. When you're falling off and you might need some people, you will probably try to squash all your issues, Okay. If you listen to what Iggy Azalea, or actually Azalea Banks said in response, she said, I think a true reconciliation can happen once there's some acknowledgement of what hip-hop has been trying to tell her. I still don't think she quite understands the effect her racial privilege and the socioeconomic leverage that comes with it has on a marginalized group of women's culture. Race aside, this is also a woman's issue. I hope that there will be a chance for us to have an open discussion about this as I feel America and the world will really benefit from some candid discourse between two public figure about the world's biggest sickness, racism. I wish women of the future to be able to refer to this moment in women's culture as an example of what can happen when people take their time to understand. That's a very well-written statement by Azalea Banks. By the way, Azalea Banks, as I've always said, she always has a deep message that, to be honest, like, she always has a point, but it always is cloaked in hate, okay? She has a point, but she's kind of still hating. And here she makes a great point by saying, don't just apologize. Don't think everything is sweet. How about we acknowledge the shit we were telling you that we actually got into problems for, okay? We were trying to say you were appropriate in the culture. You didn't respect the culture. You didn't understand hip-hop. And now you're like, hey, listen, I know I kind of lashed out back at you guys. And now I want to say I'm sorry. But if you're saying you're sorry and you're not acknowledging that one thing that we tried to point out to you, are you really sorry? So that's where it has been. I don't think Iggy Azalea would actually follow this up because truth be told, and I don't think she's dumb at all, but I don't think she's really that deep-rooted into black culture or gives a fuck that much to have these discussions and really care. Macklemore seems like he cares. Iggy seems like she don't give a fuck, okay? She probably loves black penis, but in terms of, like, black culture and the origin and trying to fight for the people who have been slighted in the past, I don't think she gives two fucks, okay? Get a comment, you guys like. Good thing for them. Hopefully they could come together. Iggy Azalea, you're looking washed out here. Azalea Banks, your career been over. I'm sorry. Get a comment, you guys like. Jackie Demix, I'm up.